Hey YouTubers, come on, I'm it. Guys, this is going to be the first in a series of videos on my Jetson Bolt Pro. I got it just the other day. When it came, the brake rotor, the disc, was warped. Unfortunately, it looks like the brake drum or plate is bent. So... It was bent on one side and was pushed in on the other. And it was terrible because I couldn't adjust the brakes properly. When I drove it, it was, and it was, this was, it wouldn't spin at all. It was very, very, uh, it's, it's fine now. What I did is I took a dry erase marker. You could use a magic marker. And I put a marker on both sides. And then when I spin the tire, I could see where the brake pads were scraping off the little marker so i could tell where the high points and low points would also i put my thumb close to it and just would spin it what i did to fix it was first of all i didn't fix it i called jetson it's a refurbished bike 249 and i called them but i called them 839 they closed at nine by the time i got finished with a virtual assistant i'm a slow typer it was like uh 845 so they said they had five minutes they'd have somebody talk to me nobody called me and then next day, nobody called me. I said, you know what? I'm just going to go on Amazon. And I found they have a brand new disc you can get for like 10 bucks. If you need to purchase a rotor, I got, I'll leave a link to the, the number on uh, Amazon. But you need a 160 uh, millimeter uh, rotor brake disc. It also has to be a six hole. So it has to be a six hole one because that's the same as the one on the bike. And it's 160 millimeters. So if you need a replacement, that's if you can't get one on Jetson. But back to how I get this straight, I used a a rubber mallet on this side to push in and on to to pull out. I just used a pair of vice grips. If you have a crescent wrench, it would be even better probably. Um, and I was able to to wiggle back and forth. It's a slow process. Don't bang it to death because you probably shouldn't be banging anyway because you might jar the motor. And make something worse but you want to do just a little at a time and hold your thumb or, or anything close to the rotor and see if it's back into uh flatness <laughs> that's a bicycle term <laughs> so guys if your rotor is warped and you're kind of disappointed uh, that's something you could do also if you're new to this type of brake system like i was I'm used to the old fashioned ones. You've got over here is you need like a five millimeter. This is right there. That's the guy you, you turn tiny bit at a time. Basically you want to turn that till your brake pads are tight and then back off just like a quarter turn. If they're out of alignment, if they're not, if they're not uh, in alignment, if they're like uh, off center, you can use these two little screws, this one here, bloop, 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 and this one here. And uh, if you loosen them, then you can you can uh, adjust your brake pad assembly to the left or to the right if it's off centered. And you can see the front one how smoothly that's completely flat. That's how you want it. So I'm going to leave a video soon on the accessories I purchased for the bike, which are getting close to what I paid for the bike because I paid $250 refurbished. And I was a dummy. I could have clicked on something on the Jetson site and got it 10% off. So it would have only cost me $225. But uh, it's been an interesting experience. So I'll, I'll leave, like I said, a video on the accessories coming up next and, and some other videos of... Uh, uh, videos I haven't seen other people address. All right, guys, take care. See you out there.